Welcome back to the channel everyone, I'm going to be doing a repost session now on all three Harley Quinn figures. Getting a bit tired of looking at them in the same poses. Then we're going to change it up, going to swap some heads around, change some poses and rearrange some stuff. I'm thinking about taking away that backdrop and bringing that box where it belongs behind this Harley Quinn. And I want to put this Joker with that Harley. I think they'll look amazing together. I must have posed them like that once in the past, but I don't think I've ever displayed them on the shelf together and that's the first thing you'd really think of if you have him back when she was on pre-order you think they're gonna look great together so i need to do that and i'm gonna completely change the pose on this one um i might not change the pose on this body because it's a good pose everything looks really natural and good and it also hides a lot of the joints uh, but i may very well take that head off and use this head for the club version of harley and maybe that head will go on this one. I don't know. I'm going to change some stuff around. But it'll be interesting to see how it looks when it's all done. So I hope you enjoy the video. One last look at how they were. Before I change everything around. And let's get to business. It's business time. Alright, so starting with these two. I'm going to see what I can come up with. I kind of like the idea of Harley holding the AK, uh, although she will need to hold on to the pole, so I'm going to have to go into my hands for her in the, here's my special draw here for, is that all the female stuff? No, that's a Batman draw. Everything in there is Batman related. Uh, this, I believe, is the female draw. Everything we're in is feminine in kind and like. What am I talking about? It's so annoying that he's got the perfect hand for holding onto this pole with Harley, but it's on the wrong side. You know, I can't have, I can't put the Joker on this base and the Harley on this one because their names are on the bases. So there is no hand like this for his uh, left hand. So I got to figure out something else. Alright, so Joker's going to be rocking a pistol, Harley's going to be holding on to the AK, she's got a great hand for that. There we go, finger doesn't quite reach the trigger, but it's okay, she ain't trying to kill anyone just yet. They're going to have a little dance. Alright, so I couldn't get the Joker to kind of realistically hold on to the pole, which is what I wanted to do, because I don't want to use a stand with him, because Harley doesn't have a stand because she holds on to the pole, the pole to support herself. So I wanted the Joker to do the same thing and get rid of the stand and just cover up the hole where the stand would be inserted. Cover that up with one of them dollar bills there. And that is going to look someone threw a rose onto the stage. Isn't that a nice little touch? But yeah, now the Joker is using that hand to hold on to, Joke, um, to, hold on to Harley's arm. Um, you know, whatever. Read into that as you will. You know, maybe he's just being nice or maybe he's being a controlling douchebag. Who knows? But he's holding onto her arm to steady himself and stop himself from falling over. She is uh, supporting the both of them, you might say. Alright, so I'm liking it, but I don't really like the Joker holding onto Harley's arm like that thing. It just feels wrong. But it's the only way to really get him to have any kind of stability. See, Joker, well, Harley's holding onto the pole. She's not got a stand. She's purely just. It's all about holding onto that pole there. Joker's not got a stand either because I want it to look, you know, right. Uh, I don't. He, he can stand up by himself and balance just fine, but his ankles can. They're not loose, but they, they're not tight either. So I don't trust him to go falling over face first onto the um, the shelf and scratch the paintwork on his awesome head sculpt. So uh, he has to hold onto something. That hand of his is too open to hold onto the pole. Uh, it just so happens that the the amount of you know space between his fingers and his thumb there is actually a perfect fit for holding onto Harley's forearm. So, um, I'd rather he wasn't holding onto her arm, but that's what I got to do in order to get this to work. I think that does look very cool. I'm even thinking about not changing the head on Harley now because I like the way it looks. And plus it took me a while to get her hair to calm down. And I'm afraid that if I go pulling that head off and putting it on a different Harley body, I'm going to have to spend the next half an hour messing around with hair. And I don't want to do it. So I think I'm going to put this back on the shelf the way it looks right now, which is pretty friggin' sweet. Look at the rose, the money, some Joker cards thrown in. That looks really cool. 
All right, so now it's time to move on and pose the other two Harley Quinns, but I'm very happy with that. That will certainly, uh, wow, <laughs> look at that angle right there. That is awesome. That will certainly do for now. Take some photographs as well. I think that looks sweet. Let me know what you think. And how many of you guys out there have both of these particular figures? Obviously, now that head sculpt comes with the purple coat version. I like to mix around the head sculpts. It's really cool because both the Jared Leto heads that I have are very, very different expressions. Uh, this one's much more, you know, manic, crazy, lighthearted, whatever you want to call it. Whereas the other one is very straight and sinister and creepy. And, well, this one's definitely creepy too. But they're both smiling, they're both having a good time, and they're both clearly in a club. And Joker has either taken over, or he probably owned it to begin with. I'm sure he got some cash. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Zoom in. There we go. All right, so got them on the shelf. Move the boxes around a little bit just to see how we're looking here and I think that Harley Quinn sculpt is going to have to be swapped around because she just looks too happy. I mean obviously the Joker looks happy, he's smiling but there's just a crazy look in his eye which works but for Harley she just looks a bit too sweet and nice for what's going on here so probably going to go ahead after all and swap that head out with this one over here. See how that looks. Alright so I swapped out the head and I think that'll suit things better. Um, probably going to put that one on this one, or swap them around, we'll see. But we'll just get Joker back on it. Hey, Joker, who are you pointing that guy? He's crazy, man. Jesus, I didn't do that on purpose. I literally just had to put him somewhere where he wouldn't fall over, so I just kept him in the pose he was in, wedged him between the two boxes, and he just happens to be pointing his gun at Harley Quinn. She's like, ah, do it, I don't care. All right, let's do, let's do something. All right, that's with the Harley Quinn head swap. I think that looks a lot better this time around. So not totally finished yet. Still got to tweak a few things with the Harley pose there, just with the head really. I think I need to push it down a little bit further onto the neck, get rid of that transition, make it less obvious. But that looks really cool. All right, so I'm gonna move on to these two now and see what I can come up with. Well, there's nothing too exciting, but I'm thinking about just leaving this particular version posed up like this. I mean, she looks very realistic. I mean, that head sculpt is fantastic. The body from the prison version, obviously minus any tattoos, but she would have, uh, you know, she would have got them gradually after her uh, turn, you know, from Harley Quinzel into Harley Quinn. All those tattoos didn't just appear overnight. So I do get comments from time to time saying, you know, why doesn't she have tattoos? And that is the reason. This is very early in Harley Quinn's uh, career, should we say. So before she had all the uh, tattoos. So, nice clean version of Harley. All right, now I think I've got this one looking pretty good. I wish I could get these legs closer to get, I really want it to look like she's walking forward but ideally it's hard to describe with one hand but I want this leg to be closer over here like she's really kind of just striding forward so but that's not possible um, I can't really get them to get any closer together than that but I think that certainly looks good and I like this version of Harley in the back as well all right so almost done I tweak a few little things here but we're certainly getting to the end of it and I'm liking the way they're all looking. All right, so I did just change something. I changed the, um, the groin grabber to one. You know how sometimes you're able to kind of push them together like this and then they'll stay like that. They kind of overlap and they, you know, it just narrows the whole situation. Otherwise, sometimes they can be a bit wide, but you know, every now and then, not with all of these, but sometimes you can. This one in particular won't do it but you can kind of get them to overlap and then they just kind of stick together like that and just allow you to get the legs closer together. So I swapped out one that allows me to do that. I also kind of pinched the feet across each other to, uh, you know, 
It's no longer like she's walking. It's more like she's really just posing here. But I just like the, you know, the kind of V shape of the whole pose. So I think I'm going to call that one done. And I'm sure quite a few of you will agree that, that looks pretty cool. All right. Let's put them all back on the shelf and see how it looks. All right. All done. So it's pretty different. I'm really liking this little setup here. I think that looks fantastic. That's uh, the eyes of the Joker, the way they catch the light, even his, the grill on his teeth. Just amazing. And Harley's got a lot of life in her with that head sculpt. It's absolutely fantastic. The detail on the bases. Someone threw a rose up on stage, or perhaps Joker dropped it uh, once he started the dance of death and over here we've got a very playful Harley she's got her gun on the floor there still barefoot holding the huge hammer or mallet or whatever you call that thing and there we go she's looking awesome pretty cool and then over here I'm really happy with this now this is Kind of a rare one for me because with this head sculpt like i said at the beginning of the video there's just something about it it's a little bit vacant the stare just kind of goes through you rather than um you know make you think there's some serious intent going on there it's just a little bit of a vacant stare but i've uh, got the baseball bat lifted just above her head she's kind of strutting forward step after step there's her uh, magnum or whatever that is and I think that looks pretty awesome. So I am satisfied with the change up. I did take away the the uh, what was it that backdrop there, which I do really like the color of it, but it did allow me to spread out the these guys over here a little bit more. Got a bit of space on the end of the shelf. I was thinking about putting that Harley Quinn there, because she's a really cool figure by Necker, and it'd be nice to have her, you know, on the shelf at least. She might throw things off a little bit, possibly. Oh, you gonna stand up? You gonna balance? <sighs> That's a great figure. That is the Arkham City version of Harley Quinn by NECA, one fourth scale. Really, really nice figure, that one. Great posability with this. Um, you can go back on the channel, check out the showcase video I did with uh, backgrounds from the game. Some cool lighting effects and stuff like that. I think I reviewed it as well. I must have done. So yeah, here we have Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman, and Catwoman and Catwoman, and then the Harley Quinns, which bleeds into the Joker collection. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I present to you the DC Wall. Yes. Adam Hughes Catwoman covers framed above in a row of Batman. Look at that. Heading on down to Joker Country. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Leave me your comments and your thoughts below. Always love to hear from you. Hope it's inspired a couple of you guys out there who own Harley Quinn or the Joker or the figures from Suicide Squad and give yourself a little repose session. And if you feel inclined to make a video, you go ahead and you let me know and I'll be sure to check it out. Alright, that's it. Mind your business. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Bye bye.